Here is a, another video of a situation. You might be a company that uh, has to work with other companies and they may have SolidWorks files, they may have Inventor files, or even Pro-E files. Here uh, I'm working with a SolidWorks file and I'm actually opening up the SLD PRT file. And everything succeeded. And this is uh, a SolidWorks file imported into IronCAD. Uh, the translator is already built into the IronCAD uh, program that I'm using. And uh, perhaps you needed to make uh, several modifications to this particular part. Perhaps you needed to uh, narrow down this uh, shaftway, uh, this slotway. So we would take this, take a surface here. I'm going to take this. I'm going to create, uh, create an extracted 3D curve from there. Uh, and at this point, uh, I'm going to extrude. I want to make that a little smaller. And I'm going to just in decrease the, the thickness by 0 0.2. I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to add a little additional material 0.1 on each of the different sides. So now you'll see that uh, I've increased that side. And we'll take this surface. There. Oh. There it is. Go create. We'll create an extractive 3D curve again. Go through our extrude. And we'll make it part of this part. And there's our extrusion. And here we'll make that point one again. So uh, as you can see here, what we've done is we've uh, reduced the size of that slot by point two, taking one from each, each end. Um, and perhaps you needed to, to make a hole here so we can go to our shapes catalog, find me a, a whole cylinder, drag it, and you'll notice the center of that illuminates. I can take that, drop that through, make that one inch, and drag the handle down to make sure it goes through the bottom. And we've got a hole in a, in a part. Um, you can also do other things to this part. For instance, perhaps we wanted a chamfer an edge, and we're going to make that uh, point 0.2, and we take one of the edges, and uh, let's make that a little bit bigger here. There we go. And the other thing you might want to do is maybe you'd want to work with some advanced shapes here for our tools and drag a custom hole. Add it to the center of that arc. Calls up our custom hole dialog box. You can make whatever changes you want here. You have your hole depth. I'll set that to a full two inches to make sure it goes all the way through. Hole diameter. This is already at uh, 0.25 I can change that to whatever I need it to be 0.375 and we'll okay that and as you can see you now have a custom hole put put through the part so you can actually modify other vendors parts these what what you see here is we're going to hide the selected and that's the additional profile that was created and now you'll see that you've got a smaller slot so you've actually modified the SOLIDWORKS part in IronCAD um, as easy as you uh, would if you had the native program itself uh, so that's it thank you